Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of volume. This is standard 8.7a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the height of a cylinder is five centimeters. It's not very, not very big. And then the circumference of the base of the cylinder is 16 pi centimeters. That's kind of interesting. So let me draw a cylinder here just for us to kind of look at. And I'm going to kind of try to draw it a little short and squat here. All right, so here's my cylinder. What I'm looking for is the volume, but my measurements are kind of weird. All right, so the height is five centimeters. I get that five centimeters. That's my height. That's what they typically give you when we do these types of problems, but they give me the circumference. Normally they're going to give me the diameter or the radius. So the circumference, right, is around, right? Kind of like the perimeter of a circle. And that's 16 pi, which is kind of weird. All right, so I need to find the volume. So if I go to my mathematics chart, I'm going to find this. Volume equals base times height. And that works for either a cylinder or a prism. In this case, we're looking at a cylinder. All right, so my height is 5. That's easy. So volume equals base times 5. The biggest problem is what is this base? So base here, this B, actually means the area. All right, so the area of the base, that's why you can use this exact same formula for a prism or a cylinder because their bases are different. In this case, our base is a circle. And prisms, it's either a rectangle or a triangle or a cube or a square, depending on what kind of prism you've got. So what's the area of my circle? All right, so that takes me to another formula I need. So the area of a circle equals pi r squared. All right, I know what pi is. I don't know what my radius is. My radius is from the center out to the side. This height's not going to help me. I need to do something here with my circumference. And the only other equation that I have or formula that I have on my formula chart that's going to help me is my circumference. So check out this work that we got to do here. Circumference equals pi times the diameter. So that's how you find the circumference is you multiply the diameter times pi. Well, I'm going to replace my circumference with this right here because that's what it says. The circumference is 16 pi. So 16 pi equals pi times diameter. Well, watch what happens when I do this. What if I divide? I notice there's a pi on both sides. To keep a balanced equation, what if I divide both sides by pi? It's just like dividing both sides by 1. As long as you do it to both sides, you're fine. Now I know that my diameter equals 16. And I know that my radius equals half of my diameter. So you can take your diameter, cut it in half. So I've got 16. I've got to divide that by 2. And all of that work means I finally have a radius to plug in right there. It's 8 centimeters. So my area is going to be pi and then 8 squared, which is not 8 times 2. It is 8 times itself. So let's do that work there. That's going to be 8 times 8, or 64. So the area is going to equal a little bit over 201. Now I've got to plug this into this equation right there. So the volume is going to equal this right here, and then times 5, because that's my height. And I'm going to have about 1,005.30. And so here we go. My answer is C.